Here we go, Toxic Critical versus Tag Your Pregnant. Coming in. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> not humanly possible. <laughs> Um, alright, so Princess already shut down my miner. At least he got the zap off. He shut off those. Uh, so we could have did a we lot of damage. Bands, did we? No, we have not talked about the bands. This is the first match. Go ahead and shout him. We got the giant. We got the poison. Strong bands. That means miner is going to be in play all series. Yeah, we're going to see a lot of miner. We're going to probably see a little bit of hog rider as well. We might even see a little bit of minor hog. Wow. And you know what you I, I don't think we talk about? I don't think we talk about in this series, but it's really important. Miner is one of those cards you can play at the last second. How towers work is they retarget the closest card. So they will always target the miner, even if they were targeting something else before. It's Ooh, really painful. Mini is and Mini Pekka is going to shut down the princess. Doesn't nice. get the tower, though. But no, he, but great but value. He wanted great value. to shut down the princess. He wasn't really, I don't think he was caring about the tower damage. That's why he zapped the goblins to get it to the Mini Pekka to take out the princess. Because he dropped the miner on the tower. So. Yeah, exactly. And, and it was worth it. I, I mean, he's coming up ahead one elixir there, so... They're going both into pretty this. much running. Tag is going to go back to his pump. I don't think Toxic is playing a pump. Otherwise, we probably would have seen it. But he hasn't and played fact, two cards yet. That's exactly. I, that's the only thing I was going to talk about. Is he, he's, he hasn't played his deck. Really sort of unfortunate in a minor but, deck. Is it the furnace? Is it But that's know, also, the zap? That could also be really good for him, too. Because right now, okay, we see a zap coming. There's the zap. But so what's the last, last card? card? If Tag, Tag's not ready for it and he doesn't think that he already thinks he knows every card that's in the deck. You know, because sometimes you lose track. He might well, think that he knows all the all the eight cards, and then all of a sudden he throws like something big on him. Like maybe it's like, maybe it's log a, bowler. Where maybe we'll see something crazy, or even even what uh, a prince, or you know what I mean something different that he wasn't. That really would expecting. be cool. I would love to see a prince. Actually, we saw prince do really good work last series. Here we go, princess versus the ice wizard on that right hand side. He got the zap on everything. Great zap. Or it could be another lightning. It could be another lightning. <laughs> Uh, we, I would I would not put it past. I just feel like it's really weird ooh, in a... You know, ooh, Mini Pekka could get the tower here. Does it no, it's going to get no, shut, it down, shut down. But it did take that Ice Spirit tag. You're pregnant. Just lost his advantage. That's unfortunate. It's it's one of those things where, you know, the the, the, the minor decks are very hog-esque in the fact that they, they are very low elixir. They cycle very fast. So not using one of your cards, if it's not a big hitter ooh, card, nice you're not going to get the value out of that card all game. Mini Pekka is going to go down into Fire Spirits. Fire Spirits are Gary Counter to Mini Pekka. Fire Spirit Zap, like I said last time, for hundreds of hogs. Well, I would say even Ice Spirit. If you play Ice Spirit in the middle, Mini Pekka is gone. You lure Ooh, all those, the way to get minions, hit by two no, towers. Those goblins really are getting good. some chip damage on the tower. That's going to be very, They got a lot very... of chip damage. Here we go. Miner just shut down the pump in the back. That way Toxic can stay in this game. Mini Pekka. Mini Pekka uh, Princess coming down the right-hand side. Princess is going to shut down the Fire Spirits. Thankfully, Miner he had the goblins the as well. Two princesses, Two princesses and an ice spirit. That's, that's gonna a lot stop. of damage. That's gonna be game. Yeah, that is gonna. That's a tower. You see, the zap it. That's game. No, there we go. Okay, yes. I was on. I thought now, the miner was gonna take. We it. Still Unfortunately, didn't see got that the last retarget. card of uh, toxic, right? Yeah, go find that out. Let's go find out what that was. Let's see what we got. We have the inferno. Also, I have a. Uh... He didn't play the inferno. Did he play the match? Okay, so we had. Fire Spirits? So Toxic had the Inferno. We had uh, Goblins, wow. Zap, Fire Spirits, uh, Mini Pekka, Ice, Wizard, Princess, uh, Miner, and Inferno. That was from Toxic. Now Tiger Pregnant was running pretty close to the same thing. Instead of, he, instead of Inferno, he was running a Cannon, and he was running Ice Spirits instead of Fire Spirits. Yeah, I feel like part. the Inferno should have been played. If you're not playing your last card and you're losing, what you need to do is change your rotation. We talked about that. You got to change... Uh, you know, the, the, the way you're playing your but cards. But the problem with an Inferno going up against another Miner deck, Inferno's a four elixir cost, the Miner's a three. So, you're gonna always be that one elixir behind if you're trying to counter it with an Inferno. Or agreed, to... agreed, but your opponent hasn't seen it, right? So, it's like, he's not playing it all game, then it's suddenly there. It's like, well, okay, well now I have to readjust my strategy. It's just a good way to throw someone off, especially when you're under, like, when you're, when you're down. He was down most of the game and he really needed to, like, uh, have something to come back. Also, I've got a graphic of the most picked cards from week three okay. that have let's, a huge let's, before win we say, before we say something, what do you guys think the most used common? Oh, it's already up on the screen. Okay. So most used common is the zap. I wanted people to guess it. That would have been funny. People would have said, I'm pretty sure people would have said common for for the, the common would have been zap. We got the mini P.E.K.K.A. at 70%. The epic is the poison at 55. And the legendary is none other than the princess, which we definitely expect when minor is banned most of the time. I, I almost would have felt like it would have been Ice Wizard, 
But I've noticed that people are getting a lot of good damage out of the princess, you know what especially it would be, though, if against it those me. infernos. Like you were saying, if the miner wasn't done all the time, it would be the miner for sure. Oh, definitely. One. Princess is great. Is one of the. It's not that it's like such an overpowered card. It's just that it's annoying to deal with. Exactly. And you know what? We also have a ten dollar iTunes gift card sponsored by your boys at Mob Crush. I think we're gonna paste that in the chat right now, so you guys can jump in there, get some free money. Oh my God, you get free money just for watching. You think the? Do you think that the the zap needs to be uh, nerfed? nerfed? Yes. Do you think so? Do you think, uh, the, you think the the stun should be nerfed on, and not the damage, but the stun? I almost feel like that's the appropriate nerf. They went from no stun to a one sec. It went from no stun to an extremely strong stun. If they just cut it back. It would be less used. I think the log would be more used, and log is supposed to be a legendary, right? Well, I felt like yeah. we should see that more often. We're into the next match here. I don't know how to say the bottom name. Uh, so I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we got Clout versus Hammers. We'll just go Naruto versus Clout. Minion Horde. Ooh, that's the first Minion Horde we've seen all day. Yeah. In fact, no one's really playing it at all even ladder or tournaments because it gets shut down so hard by fire spirits by ice spirits like things now, that are prevalent now so it's I'm, really I'm cool gonna, to see I'm that i'm gonna say this i'm pretty sure i know what he's gonna be running with this lava hound and we're running the minor lava hound push the right. minor lava hound push i would not put it past him it's a strong push i feel like the lava hound minions they're gonna get so much damage on that tower because uh clout already wasted go. their minion horde look so at those, look, look, look at that pups, those damage da just two just like two or three lava pups on that tower got how, down how much that's ridiculous. A thousand. A thousand damage. It's absolutely insane. Uh, it was unfortunate. Clout just... He should have kept that. I feel like if you're going to run Minion Horde, that's a trump card. Yeah, I don't know if I would have dropped it. Maybe that's all he had in his hand. He might not have the guards at the time. Or he might not have anything else. Fair. So he had to drop them. He didn't... I think he should have... Did you see that? It was a zap there. He got the hog to tower. He got two... Two chip damages. I believe he zapped to try to get the mini P.E.K.K.A. to retarget. Unfortunately, he did not retarget on those guards, and the push gets shuts down a lot faster than Still you would Still really like. close. This game is really close. Princess, you want it for some chip damage. He doesn't even worry about the princess here. Interesting. A lot of people would count the... Oh, there arrows. it is. I arrows. felt like it was sort of a delayed... Who runs the arrows? Delayed. I know, ever since Zap is so strong, but he's running both. He's got the arrows, he's got the Zap. Unfortunately, he just used his arrows, mini even though he knows he has... Oh, mini P.E.K.K.A. does get it. The minion horde. It does get two hits on the tower, though. I mean, what is he bait? What is, was he looking to bait out with that minion horde that he wasn't gonna get with this lava hound? Here we go. Lava hound makes it basically to tower. It looks like Clout has no real good air answer, and and if he can't sort of shut down that lava hound, it's Ooh, gonna go into was overtime. A little behind there. Thankfully, he's getting that hog damage push, that super strong push. Mini P.E.K.K.A. Oh my goodness. Mini P.E.K.K.A. on that left-hand side almost made it to tower. Yeah, but look at the tower for uh, Naruto. Four help. Yeah, no, that tower is gone. It is. Naruto's really I wouldn't even counter to... that Mini P.E.K.K.A. I would have left that Mini P.E.K.K.A. alone. Oh, he's tried to hide his Mini P.E.K.K.A. under those, those, the and Minion Horde. Unfortunately, coming. great counter. Princess Tab shuts that down real fast and guards to, to save the day. <laughs> the guy's like, you can't pull that off on me, bro. Yeah, he was not letting that, he was not letting that go anywhere. Go, I mean, and there's the tower on the left hand side. Naruto's in a tough spot here. He's got 15 seconds. I don't think that mini peck is going to make it. What he needed to do no. was get that lava hound. As soon as he saw that tower go hound, he needed that lava hound in the back. And uh, lava hound is sort of the same speed as gold. It takes around 30 seconds to get to tower. I think, no, the poison fan, sorry. He, he needed like a freeze or something else besides arrows in that deck because. Yeah, that the, arrows the, was an unfortunate. The arrows, choice. yes, it's going to take out the princess, but the. but. A freeze would have worked so much better, or, or it's an yeah, or it's an even else. trade instead of getting the the elixir value, and I feel like that even trade almost turned into a negative for him. Yeah, like I don't, I don't know. I mean, the, the arrow is just not like really used. I mean, in low in like lower ladder play, or um, if you're like, I mean, in tournament play, it's not really used. But like, if you're in ladder and you're lower in ladder, yes, I would say arrows are pretty much used. Um, but it's just one of those cards that it's not as strong as the zap zap is so strong right now that the arrows it's not really up there um but man that means we're going into the third matchup with clout at a 2-0 lead but this is how it was last time that's true these are the kind of things that makes this league so exciting is that we always have plans with the 2-0 lead that just gets shut down with a three yeah. the three win comeback so you know but i mean i'm just saying clout man give me that clout hype they got to be feeling good right now they know they're up against strong opponents, and they're already up two wins. So you, they're rallying. They're rallying for sure. You know they're freaking trying to bring it home. And uh, well, I mean, we'll, I mean, this next match is going to be insane. This is, I mean, 
This is a lot of pressure really for really hammers nice. to do work here, especially because they're really and they might even move down into the cold if they can't pull put up a few matches here. <laughs> and nobody wants to be cold. All the clans love oh, to talk about that heat. Oh, it's gonna be interesting. Full okay. frontage versus ESL for the game clincher. I mean, there's some, hey. there's, some, there's some matches after this. It's just if this match goes for club, then it's not gonna be. Well, right. then hammers will be fighting for points. They'll be fighting yeah. to stay out of the cold to to give themselves at least you know a fighting chance at the rest of the league. So they still they still need the wins. It's not like you just give up even if you you get 3-0'd in the beginning. You want those wins. You want those points. Points are extremely important in this league. Nice counter to that Royal Giant. We're really weird to see another Royal Giant here, especially when a Royal Giant Miner deck. The Miner really took out that Furnace. Nice. Yeah, but the problem is the Furnace is really going to counter that Royal Giant. Especially yeah, so he's already well. you know Full Frontage is already going to have a hard time. He wasn't able to even get you know damage he, off on the tower he kind of dropped the royal giant in a weird spot in the back yeah and early on maybe he's looking to cycle to his other cards maybe he's got pump in there i'm not sure i, I really like i know they're not really looking forward to playing pump with a, knowing people have minor but that's a great thing play pump you know get the get the Ooh, lure or something and get your like get your game going Interesting, a Furnace Royal Giant deck. I've seen a lot of those. I've seen some of those in tournaments. Those well, it's a very strong push deck, right? Furnace is going to shut down everything. And at least he can basically... When he has Fireball. the Furnace going, he's got two Furnaces going now. This so. is the minions. Mm. He does hit the mini P.E.K.K.A. at least. And the, the Fire Spirits are going to shut it down. No, minions, they were too far away. And they make it to the Furnace. So that the furnace, furnace is gone. And they get to the tower here. Woo! Oh my goodness, that's the tower. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Miner hitting that tower. Tower retargets the closest troop, and those minions got so much damage off because of it. Barbarians, interesting. This is a, I don't, barbarians don't usually run that much. Yeah, and in fact, he made them work. He got him to stop that that uh, that push. Unfortunately, guards are so good. Guards, well, ever since they changed the update on guards, it just made them so strong. Not getting the knockback from their shields getting taken off, it just made guards so much more value and um, actually made them usable. Exactly, the they were very, they were very underplayed, not really usable. The the, the patches are were good. They were good balance for guards for sure. There we go. He saw the he saw the furnace and like he got the same counter that full frontage got the first time. So it's basically coming down to shut down the royal giant, get the poke damage, finish the game. But he's got to do it in 30 he's got he and then yeah and full frontage only has 30 seconds to put it away so see i don't know the reason why full frontage is deck i feel like is not being able to pull because that furnace is really stopping him putting his barbarian down stopping him putting something in front of his royal giant to get a push down. yeah in fact what he really needs to be doing is as soon as as soon as he sees that and uh that furnace shut it down with the miner get ready to set up with the royal giant barbs knowing that a furnace isn't coming Great damage, great damage by full frontage, but I feel like it's too late. That's the that's the kind of stuff that he needed to be doing all game. Uh, ESL really, yeah. Uh, lightning, for the lightning. wow, lightning puts away the game, and Clout is 3-0 in this series. Oh my goodness, this is looking like it's. Oh man. Yo, I just got confirmation. We got Nick Buck 14, winner of the iTunes card. Nick Buck 14, yo, give me that hype. He just won ten dollars, man. Congratulations. If we can at him in the chat, that would be awesome. So he knows. So he knows. All right. So in the next matchup, I wonder who's going to be. We, we still have Backstab to go. We still have um, Chief hasn't gone yet, right? No, we have not seen Backstab or Chief. Those are the two next and to go, we, I guess. Yeah, they're really strong players, and they need to come through. They need to pick up those but points. That's what we were, I mean, the are really strong players as well. well. And like all these people, they have good players, good strong players on their team. I mean, I just don't know. I mean, Backstab, I mean, they might end up pulling the win for this team. Chief might pull the win for the team, giving them points to keep them out of the, the cold zone. That would be awesome. Well, let's just talk about this. Clout, Clout might be the first clan to put a shutout. They are 3-0. Oh, I've, I've been talking about, about I've this. been talking about, I want to see it. Last time we what clown is gonna, What clan is going to put the shutout this week? Clout is gunning for it, guys. You know it. They, they got a 3-0. They're rallying. They're like, we're going to put this away. And they've got two strong opponents to do it against. So if they can do it, not only is that going to put them in such a good position points-wise, but that is going to be so freaking hype. Can we get that shutout? I mean, I'm I'm waiting for the chat to just start spamming shutout. Oh, here we go. And we're going right into the next match. 
Chief up in this house. <laughs> All right, so Chief Mexico starting it off front versus uh, Isopa. Interesting, so he goes straight for the Hog Miner push on the left-hand side. Get some damage with this Hog Rider. Ooh, gets an extra hit. No. Yes, yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. He does get the extra hit, and that is a great way to start the game. Especially when you're not zap. playing the pump or you don't have the pump. It was really smart of Isopa to play the pump, so he knew the mine already got used and he can safely play it. That's basically the only thing keeping him back in this, keeping him in this game when he's down 900, 900 damage on left hand side tower. And the guard does up getting the tower. That's ridiculous how strong the guards are. <laughs> oh my goodness, it is, especially at tournament level. There's something I don't see very much in ladder, even at the higher levels. But that's just because they're epics and they're really hard to get up at tournament level. They're so usable. Two pumps by Isopa is that's... really going to put him ahead. There we go. Miner. Is the Ooh, Miner retargeted? Some. No. Nice. And I love the split push. Unfortunately, he did have the Inferno. The Ice Spirit does stop it a lot. Uh, but he's not going to be able to get Hog the Tower. He's going to be able to take it out, though. It's not going to be really an issue at the moment. Yeah, but... if Chief Mystical can keep cycling faster than Isopa, he's gonna take that tower. The thing is, Isopa's trying to get ahead with pumps. Unfortunately, he didn't retarget that miner. We need Pekka Miner push. With the Princess behind that, guards are probably gonna go down here. If he gets a zap on him, that's basically gonna get the mini Pekka to tower. Doesn't he get the zap on He chooses not to play the zap. I, that's unfortunate. I feel like he should have zapped everything and tried to get at least that push to count. Maybe even shut down this mini Pekka before oh. he got to his Princess. Very late zap there. At least he's gonna get decent poke damage off. Miner on the princess at bridge. Very interesting. Oh, nice. Hog to push it. Fire, uh, Ice Spirit coming in. Gonna freeze everything. Hog is gonna get the tower Woo! untouched. This is probably gonna be a tower here. Four? Oh, that is a tower. That is gone. Ooh, no! Mini Pekka at the last second. Last second Mini Pekka. That minion Hog horde. needed one more hit, but shut down. Another Minion Horde. Nice. It's interesting to see that, and he at least kept it. At least uh, Chief Mystical, he kept the Minion Horde. To the end, and I was he tried to get the push he off of zapped, it. He should have just zapped the princess there and got the tower real quick. It might have been worth it, but a seven, a seven for her tower. I don't know. He, I feel like he feels he already has the tower, and now he can go for the right hand side. Jumping minions to take out of a, a miner, it's not a... not ideal, especially no. because it's going to get hits off the pump. He's making him do what I do. What I do in ladder, I make you work work really hard for that tower. Oh, you can tell. You can tell. He's is struggling. He he's feeling he's feeling the pain of not being able to to really pull that miner away. And it's extremely unfortunate. It's looking, what was looking like such a great game for him is looking like a turnaround for Chief Mystical. And there goes the tower on that left-hand side. But it's not side. over till it's over. We got that tower down to 10.50. With 15 so, seconds left, he he's really just, needs... He's just deploying stuff on that side. He really needs like a off. minor minion push a long time ago. I don't think he has what he does, needs to push that tower. And that's going to be game. Yeah. Well played, Chief Mystical. Hammers stopping the shutout. You got to know that Chief Mystical had pressure, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Can you feel the heat but there? But he got those points for his team, so that's good. He picked up the two. Hammer time in the chat. Yes, give me the hammer time in the chat. Shout out. Shout it out. That was really good. Really great gameplay by both players. Really, I, uh... not, really not a known player, too, Chief Mystical. So he's not, like we were saying, he's not really known in the tournament. Yeah, no, we haven't seen him till last week. In both weeks, he's been putting away matches. And he's been doing really, really good, which is awesome. Like, to see new faces in here doing good in, like, all on all teams is good. Oh, oh, man, yeah. We had, uh, it was, the name was Rice, the one we couldn't pronounce. Okay. And he was the one that I was, did, that was a great match by Rice. I didn't expect him to put that away. It was really strong. Um... All right, well, Hammers at least picked up that two points, but can they pick up the four? They want to win this last match. They want to say, hey, we're not going to be cold next week. We're going to, we're, we're staying in this league, guys. We've got strong players. We know they have strong players, and now they really have to show, show everyone else, too. This should be a really interesting match. I want to see what their both teams are going to be playing here. Exactly. So the Miner wasn't banned. Are we going to see Miner in both decks? Likely. But I, I want, I sort of wanted to see the counter, right? We, if, when you know Miner's in play, like, would it why not play extremely an extremely counter deck where you have a lot of answers you know play the skeletons play this the goblins play guards play a bunch of troops that already like that you can always sh shut out the miner and then play something to push with them and that would be really interesting to see yeah that'd be cool i want to see a giant skeleton that'd be a giant skeleton oh my god i want to see sparky i've been saying this since last week where's the sparky it is it's it's not a weak tournament card, guys. Sparky Giant, really strong combo. And even without the Giant, Sparky is one of those cards where, yes, it's a it's an all-or-nothing card. It's an easy-to-counter card, especially for high-level players.
but that's what it's about. Make them make those okay. mistakes, you know? You, you want Sparky, I want Giant Skeleton. Sparky, Sparky Giant, Giant Skeleton. Skeleton! Oh my <laughs> goodness, that's what we're gunning for here. Here we go, next match going Backstab in. Backstab versus... Every time they say good luck, I can't read the name. I know, Audos. <laughs> I'm always afraid of that last second sub. Here we go. Boop, boop. We got the uh, first hut. Hut. Yeah, the first. The first. Uh, no, the actually, wow. this is the second. The second hunt. Whoa. One of one of the. Uh, well, I mean, they had. Uh, oh, this. Yes, this week. First hut this week. Yeah, this is the first. Will hunt Will he this be week. playing a hunt well, deck or is it counter? If you count the furnace as a as a as a as a hut, furnace is a hut. It does spawn trees. I mean, that's true. It's true. I look at furnace as more. of... Not really a hut, though. I look at it like... like I never thought building. about I that. Think furnace... furnace is a defensive building. Yeah, I've never thought of Furnace as a hut, but it is. It, 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 in every sense of the word, Furnace is a hut. Uh, it's just not literally a hut, like Goblin Hut or, barbarian you know, hut. Barbarian Hut. But every sense of the word, the card behaves the same. Nice! There we go. Guards have shut do down that miner. Woo! Oh, that's gonna be big. And yeah, that's a well great point. Well played by Backstab at that point. Princess on the middle is gonna really make sure nothing comes through. It's unfortunate Aw didn't really get uh I'm telling you uh value out of his hut. I would have bet that Baxter's running the lava hound. Oh, I could see it. I could see it. He's running, he's pumping up to really go for that lava hound. Why is why is Odyssey not pumping up? That's that's the question. Why did he choose not to and run the pump here? The goblin hut just got destroyed by those minions. Yeah, they're doing it so much work. Backstab is so good at really getting low troops to just not where you want them to be and putting away that poke damage. Another, another pump already down. Is he Woo! trying to this one as Oh, well? man. I'm expecting something big. If he's pumping up that much, you well know Well played on the guards again. And he gets it every time. He predicts that miner every time. That's not something that's easy it. to you do. You notice where he dropped the guards. He dropped them right in the front in the middle. So where if you drop miner on either side, the guards going to He was going to get... Yeah, he was going to target him. It's really good play. And it, it feels like uh, it feels like he he's getting the value out of his miner too because he's shutting down all the buildings. Wow, we're, we're seeing tower, another though. lumberjack here, and lumberjack's even gonna make it. Is it a royal giant? Do we have the royal giant to put away work? Doesn't look like it, but he will get some poke damage off of that goblin hut. Gets the mini pack down. Didn't have the wow. Guard Did not have the guard. Still predicts the miner. Backstab is a hundred percent miner prediction rate so far. That's absolutely insane. And look at the damage he's gotten on the tower without even dropping his last card. No, he hasn't even played a big hitter. He's literally just pumping up and getting poked Three pumps on the troops. ground, man. Oh my goodness. And shuts down the... Lumberjack. Lumberjack, wow. No, he doesn't have an answer for the miner this time if he drops a miner, because he already dropped the guards and the mini pack up. But he drops a princess. But it doesn't seem to matter. He just keeps getting that slow chip damage. He shuts down everything Odyssey has, and he keeps Four getting chip damage. Four pumps at one time. Woo! Four pumps in the field! Now down to three, but it was four pumps for a split second. Yeah, you know, he had the four pumps up, guys, in a really competitive match that's not easy to do. That means his countering is off the charts. He really stopped look at, look really at stopping Odyssey. He's well, he's got all those pumps. Now he's now he's in overtime. It's time to take advantage of him. Start playing that, get the poke damage. It's literally gonna come down to him getting the poke damage. I think now it we might have be four lightning. Pumps again. Can you imagine if that last card is lightning and he's just looking to put but this, the troops? this counter push though is really brutal. With all these, uh, these huts down, all this spawn. Yeah, unfortunately, now he's forced to play the same side of the huts, which is what you never want to do. But all he's got to do... Oh, the skeletons. Woo! Oh, my Look goodness. at those skeletons. Oh, my God. And the skeletons put it away. Wow. Whoa. Wow. The turn of events happened there. Even though he got the... Okay, so... Wow. Even though he had that crazy elixir advantage... Oops. That's insane.